Hi, my name is Tel Koendrink and I'm the founder and master trainer of Novilo, where we help schools, teachers and parents create a place for gifted and talented kids. What I want to talk to you today about is perfectionism, because I hear a lot of people you know, talking about gifted kids and perfectionism. So let's boil it down to what it really is, okay? Perfectionism is basically the fear of failure. And there are two, two types of that. You've got the healthy kind. You know, when people go on stage, you hear these rock musicians who've been doing it for years. They're still saying, I'm scared when I go on stage, but I need that because it wakes me up. It keeps me sharp. And you've got the unhealthy kind that completely paralyzes you. And what I redefine the fear of failure as is the decision of a kid that he or she says it's better to do nothing than to do something wrong. Think about that. It's better to do nothing than to do something wrong. And that's what kids do. They'd rather do nothing. And usually the system is built in this way because if I write something out and it's wrong, I get like a lot of shit for that. And if I don't do anything and I look really sad and I cry a little bit, then everybody's like, oh, poor you. Oh, you're a perfectionist. Oh, you've got a fear of failure. I love how Tony Robbins puts it. He says perfectionism is the lowest standard possible because you already know you can't achieve it. Perfection is impossible. So you've got a non-existing standard. So you've got no standards. That's the lowest standard possible. The question is, what can you do with that which is given to you? And a mentor once taught me a great lesson. He says, perfect is the enemy of good. Take that. Perfect is the enemy of good. If you're trying to be perfect, you'll probably have nothing. It won't be good. And the biggest way to get through this is give feedback on effort. Have you done your best? And ideally, in a short period of time. What I usually do with somebody who's a perfectionist, I force failure. I give them a test that takes at least an hour to complete and I say you've got 15 minutes. In 15 minutes you're going to do your best. You're going to do the best you can do. And they try it and probably they'll choke up and they get zero points. I'm like, oh, well, okay, that's a baseline too. Zero points. We're going to give you another 15 minutes. Let's see if you can get more than zero points in 15 minutes. And they try and they do, always. They get 10 points, 12 points, whatever. And then I'm like, yeah, cool, this is better. What did you do different from last time? And let's see if you can get more than 12 points. Let's try it again. 15 points, awesome, progress again. And that's what you should focus on, not perfection, progress. And when you try to create progress, the question isn't, am I perfect, but am I doing the best with what I've got? Because perfectionism, it sounds very lofty, but it's useless. There aren't a lot of bosses who are going to be hiring you, or are going to be happy with you spending 200 hours on a project to create it slightly better than what you could have done in 20 hours. The idea is that with a limited amount of resources, a limited amount of time, you get the best result. You do the best with what you've got. So help kids do that. And one of the ways is the, to force failure. And talk to them about it. I mean, that's one of my pet peeves that people talk a lot about kids, but not a lot with kids. That's really important. Talk with them. You know, show them this movie. And then force failure. Say, within a certain amount of time, what is the best you can do? We know it's not going to be 100% because I made it impossible. It's my fault it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be your fault where it's going to be good. Okay, awesome. Try it out with your kids at different levels. Yeah? Thanks so much. And this is really going to help you in bringing out the best in yourself and in each other.